What's going on guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Now we have a quick video for you today, but it is a very important video, especially if you have this problem. What I'm talking about is getting out of the turtle shell. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I'm making this video uh, because, you know, not that it's a super common problem, but when it is a problem, it's a very big one because it, it really, really affects the entire swing. And what I mean by a turtle shell, what is simply when our shoulders are raising above their natural position, so our natural posture, our shoulders hang down and back and just naturally, that's where we want to be in our stance. I see a, a, not a lot of hitters, but definitely a good amount of hitters that get into this, this defensive type mentality. It could be defensive, it could be young, it could be some, some guys I've even seen try to load with the shoulders going up, but I call it the turtle shell. We actually, so you know how a turtle pops his head in and out of a shell? They're almost creating a shell with the shoulders. And, you know, I tell this, you know, a lot with younger kids, and I've actually had some pro guys who have did this, say, hey, get your head out of the shell so that you can relax the shoulders and now we can swing. So the big reason we want to be out of the turtle shell is that first and foremost, it's going to relax our muscles relaxed muscles or fast muscles. If we are, if our shoulders are up at all, if I've got one shoulder up, if I got the other shoulder up, I've got anything going on, I'm tense because I'm having to engage my shoulder muscles, my, my muscles that are lifting my shoulders to a point to where they're being used. I want them to be relaxed so I can fire them. That's the first big reason. The second big reason, it takes our joints out of alignment. It puts my shoulders in a weird position. And now to get out, now I have to get out of that position and then make a swing which is just brutal on timing. So there's a couple big things there. So guys, the basic thing is that you need to take from this video is see if you are getting in the turtle shell by any stretch. Even if it's a little bit, you need to stay out of the turtle shell. So if you've seen the shoulder power angles video, we talk about how the lead hand is lower on the bat than our top hand, which means that the lead shoulder needs to be slightly lower than the back shoulder at setup. So that's the first thing we need to do. We need to make sure we have that. So if the lead shoulder is up, we're slightly in the turtle shell. If both shoulders are up, obviously this is easy. Let's get out of the turtle shell, make sure that we get into a proper setup like we talk about in the perfect hitting setup in the pro speed hitting system where the lead shoulder is below the back shoulder and we're in a nice relaxed position where the shoulders are hanging down naturally. Now I'm not talking about shoving them down or anything, just a natural position that they are in relaxed. Very, very important for us to do. So guys, the big thing to do, what you're gonna wanna do is look at yourself in the mirror or check yourself on camera and see if you're in the shoulder power angle setup where the lead shoulder is slightly lower or a little bit more lower than the back shoulder and that your shoulders are not above your neckline. So you can kind of imagine where the bottom of your neck is. You don't want your shoulders above that line. You wanna keep your shoulders relaxed underneath it. So what you can do if you're having this issue, get into your setup. So no matter how you do it, make sure that your shoulders are down and relaxed so if they're up, just make sure they're down and relaxed, get into your load stride position, have a very conscious effort on your shoulders being where they are, nice and relaxed, and make some easy swings, hitting with your shoulders in the right position. Guys, this is, again, I know it's a quick video, I know it's uh, you know not something that a lot of guys have a problem with, but even if you have a little bit of turtle shell, it can be making a big difference in your swing. So guys, go out there, check yourself, make sure you're not in the turtle shell, a turtle shell, and if you are, go ahead and get out of it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, stay tuned. I got an even better bonus video coming up for you. Yeah, we want to make sure we're out of the turtle shell and everything's relaxed, but we also need to make sure we have a great transition into bat lag so that we can release it. So everything ties together into being a great hitter. I highly recommend checking it out. I'm going to play a preview of that video at the end of this video that you can watch absolutely free by clicking on the I card up in the top left-hand corner of your screen or the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching guys. Good luck with your games. Good luck with your swings. And we'll see you guys soon. Today, I'm going to show you the number one move that kills bat lag. But most importantly, we're going to do a drill that will instantly give you a tight transition into bat lag and have your swing look looking drastically better today. The move that I'm talking about here is when we're going into our transition and the bat lays down and now the only thing that we have to rely on for bat speed is our pure swing strength. from Mike Trout. He does this really, really well. You'll see as we pause him here in the max bat lag position, his barrel is really high and you can see that it's barely dipping into that line. You can imagine if this was a nail and this bat was a hammer, if I was trying to hammer this nail in like this, this would be kind of like me dumping the bat. But if I'm letting this hammer swing 
and slam into this ball over and over again, I'm going to be very, very efficient. Now, I'm sure you guys are ready for it by now. Let's go ahead and dive into the wall drill. All right, guys, here we go. The wall drill. 